Chromatography, gas chromatography, mass spectrometry. Chromatography is a technique whereby the components in a mixture are separated by passing them through a stationary phase using a mobile phase flow. The aim of the mobile phase is to transport the mixture, whilst that of the stationary phase is to delay the passage of the components. Thus, when the components in the mixture pass through the system, they are separated at different times, depending on their affinity with the stationary phase. Depending on the nature of the mobile phase, chromatographic methods are divided into two groups, grass chromatography, when the mobile phase is a gas, and liquid chromatography, when the mobile phase is a liquid. The stationary phase can be a solid, or a liquid supported on a solid or a gel. Depending on the stationary phase deposition, chromatography is classified as planar chromatography or column chromatography. Gas chromatography is a separation technique that uses a gas as the mobile phase and a solid or a liquid placed in a chromatographic column as the stationary phase. There are many applications for gas liquid chromatography in science and it is commonly called gas chromatography. Gas chromatography is carried out in a closed column in which the stationary phase is retained and through which the carrier gas passes. This gas acts as the mobile phase. The sample is introduced using an injector. The temperature must be such that the components in the mixture are able to vaporize. The carrier gas, which acts as the mobile phase, carries the components of the sample to the detector and through the column. It must be a chemically inert, thermally stable species with a high degree of purity that must not contain oxygen or water. The most commonly used gases are helium, nitrogen, hydrogen, and argon. The compounds that are injected into the gas chromatograph are separated in the chromatography column. The way in which they are separated will depend on whether they tend to be retained in the stationary phase or remain in the mobile phase. If there is no interaction between the components and the stationary phase, the components will be displaced through the column at the same speed as the carrier gas. Consequently, the separation of the components in a mixture will not be possible. Finally, the isolated individual components pass immediately to a detector. The most commonly used detectors are as follows. The flame ionization detector, the thermal conductivity detector, the electron capture detector, the mass spectrometer detector, the electrical conductivity detector, and the photoionization detector. In this case, a mass spectrometer detector is used. In a mass spectrometer, sample molecules enter an ionization source in which the components of the sample are separated by the gas chromatograph. Ionization sources in molecular mass spectrometers have enough energy to break down the chemical bonds of the sample's molecules. However, there is not enough energy to break these molecules down into atoms. Ionization sources in mass gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, yield fragments that can be ionized. Therefore, the molecules in the sample leave the ion source. They are called molecular ions, ionized molecular fragments and non-ionized molecules. Uncharged fragments and molecules are usually removed by a vacuum pump, which is used to achieve a low-pressure environment. The next section in the mass spectrometer is the analyzer, which is used to quantify the ions according to their mass charge values. The mass spectrum of the components separated by gas chromatography can be used in conjunction with specific software to determine the nature of each substance. Quantitative information can also be obtained by determining the area or the height of the chromatographic peaks.